All right, Chance, what does Alito soccer mean to you? Uh, uh, just basically tradition and hard work. I'd probably say the same thing. It's a lot of uh, tradition. It's a lot of, um, like, almost like a brotherhood. You know, we're just kind of all there for each other, and it's a great way to spend your high school career, I think. Oh, yeah. Like, senior year, you go all out. I mean, like all years before, I've always been serious about the whole let's get as far as we can. But this year is kind of like if you don't do it, you know it's the end. So it's more motivation than, other, than ever. And a state championship to me in soccer would be a dream. That would be amazing. We, I, would, I don't even know what I would do. Take it off, take it in, take off all the thoughts of what we've been. Take a look, hesitate, take a picture you could never recreate. Got a song. I'm going to take you back to the year 2005 when you almost made a run all the way to the state finals. What made that team different from any other team you've ever coached? Finals. We lost the state championship game 3-2 to two to uh, El Paso de Valle and we had four or five guys on that team that uh, just overcame every kind of adversity that they could come across. I mean, we won three games in uh, overtime, won a shootout. That, uh, it was, it was, there were some special kids on that team. In 2010, you had arguably one of the most talented teams you've ever coached and had three All-State players, not to mention two players that broke the goal scored in a season for the high, Alito High School. Guide us through what happened in the four playoff games versus Midlothian. Well, that, that season we were 22-1 and one and uh, finished with two losses. We lost to uh, Midlothian and uh, Heartbreaking fashion. And it was, uh, but we had we had quite a team. There was uh, four guys that went on and played college soccer. We did have three guys make all state, three different positions. Uh, all three of them were four-year lettermen. It uh, was a real close-knit group. We were very uh, senior top-heavy. We had 14 seniors and uh, 14 juniors on that team. So it was. Uh, they were very experienced and played well. Just came up short. How do you feel about the team's chances this year? This year, we've got a kind of unique group. We've got some uh, real strong senior leadership. A couple of guys have been on the team for all four years, and we've got a real young core of uh, players that have been on the same club team for since they were under ten. So uh, it's a real close knit group. We've uh, had some great team chemistry, and uh, once we. Uh, figure out where everybody belongs and what position, I think uh, things will start coming together. And, uh, Years before, we've had a lot of seniors starting up playing on the field. This year, we're a little bit down on seniors, so we're going to have a young team this year. And Christian, what, what are some challenges entering this year? You know, I think we have our backs against the wall pretty much because we're so small and we're so young, it's kind of like a, a learning year, you know, kind of a, just kind of building up to hopefully having a good, a good solid team in the next two or three years. And I think this year is a big step towards that. So um, we have a lot on our shoulders this year. This year we're a lot, like this team's a lot younger than we've had before. Uh, we're not the biggest team, but we have a lot of good, solid players. We don't have like a lot of, uh, or we don't have one player that we rely on, opposed to having a pretty decent team like all the way around. What are some of the challenges entering this year? Uh, just like before, we don't have very many seniors that'll be starting in the lineup, so we're gonna be a pretty young team. It'll be a bit of a challenge. 
All right, Christian, this year you get the opportunity to play with your younger brothers. How will this affect your gameplay? You know, I don't know if it affects my gameplay. It's just kind of like a cool thing. Um, you know, a lot of people, not a lot of people can say that they got to play with their brothers, you know, in a certain sport. I know all the Maloney's can, but um, other than that, you know, I don't think it affects my gameplay as much. I just, um, it's kind of just like a cool thing, like, for them to be on the field with me because they've grown up, you know, watching the bear cart tradition and they've grown up watching me do, you know, my do what I do in high school soccer and it's cool for them to be able to experience it with me. Um... Yes, uh, last game, it was a uh, controversial game against Azel. What are the plans for the rest of the season? And how do you feel about the team moving forward after that? Well, hopefully we don't have that official referee in any of our games. It, uh, it was a very controversial goal that was called. It was not a goal that changed the outcome of the game drastically. Uh, I think going forward, we're just going to keep playing. You know, we need to try to generate a little bit more offense. So we, uh, Roll some forwards in there, try to score some goals. I think defensively uh, we can straighten out a couple of things and we'll be okay. Get their count. Okay, carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Push up. Middle. Middle. Oh, that's in the corner. Oh, no, that's not going to be fun. They're not going to give him a go. Oh, Keegan. Oh, wait, Brock. Uh, yeah, hey, by the way, pause it, save the film. Uh, Take it off, take it in, take off all the